There was a guy by the name of Yuri Bezmanov, who was a former KGB agent. And he came out a few years ago as something of a whistleblower or an insider, spilling the beans on this plan that the Soviet Union used to have to subvert its political enemies. And there are many different facets to it, but the one of interest here is point four on this list, which reads culture, false heroes and role models, addictive fads and mass trends. So he's saying that this was a military grade tactic and it's far easier to control your political enemies through culture and through entertainment and through fads and trends than it is through hardcore military action, which can be seen and understood and responded to. When people don't realize that it's going on, when it's happening under the radar and when it's being done under the guise of popular culture and entertainment, it's far more successful in terms of winning over the minds of large numbers of people. We can look at some examples of what are known as lifetime actors. And this is a phrase that was coined by the author and researcher, Joe Atwill. He put out a book many years ago called Caesar's Messiah, and he's done some others as well. He's done a whole bunch of radio shows, a whole series of them with Jan Irving at Gnostic Media, which is now called Logos Media. Uh, and those two have since fallen out, unfortunately. It's a long story, but lots of great radio shows and podcasts out there from Joe Atwill and Jan Irving, where they go into this whole concept of lifetime actors. So these are people that we think of as one thing, whether it is an actor or a politician or a musician or a TV star. And again, you stop the average person in the street and say, have you heard of such and such? And they'll say, oh, of course I have. Yeah, I know who that is. So that's the public version of them, the Edward Bernays version of them that people are in train to think of. But there's been so much research done in recent years into the family backgrounds and some of the affiliations and associations that these people have. 